secretary but a judge. Thank you for joining me and thank you for doing me the honor of wearing your fun tie to my interview. Thank you. It's, it's my most fun blue tie. Now, the Biden administration has had a literally amazing summer. You struck an agreement with the Manchin administration to pass the Landmark Inflation Reduction Act, and it's already working. Inflation is down to a minuscule 8%, and I'm seeing way fewer GoFundMes for people trying to buy a gallon of milk. What turned around this administration, besides me posting a Drake meme where the top says not passing bills and the bottom says passing bills? I'm sure that was a big help. Uh, Thank you. The, the reason we're excited about the Inflation Reduction Act is it's going to lower the costs that Americans are facing every day, especially in a climate where there's been a lot of inflation. So when you look at uh, what the bill is going to do, for example, to uh, reduce the cost of prescription drugs, uh, allowing Medicare to negotiate directly with uh, with pharmaceutical companies, the pharma companies fought that, but uh, the administration was able to get that through. It's not going to happen overnight, but it's making a big difference, and uh, one of many things that makes me proud to be part of this administration. Well, there is one thing we know for sure. It's great that Joe Biden's approval rating is on the rise and there's no need for the party in 2024 to rally behind a young, vibrant, gay, transformative political figure. <laughs> That's right. We have a great president. Mm -hmm. I mean, where would we even find someone like that? like that person I mentioned. I mean, they don't even exist. It's impossible. And even if we did find them, would they have the courage to seize this singular moment in history? Or just a great day job that they want to, you know, continue mm -hmm. well, doing. Well, luckily, we don't have to worry about that. We're not in an ironic divine hell where the better we do at our job, the better it is for our boss, and the further we get from fulfilling our destiny. Right. Exactly. We're on the exact same page, bestie. Let's talk about Republican Governor Ron DeSantis lying to migrants and transporting them to predominantly liberal enclaves. Ugh, I'd kill for a lobster roll right now. Obviously, this demonstrates a profound level of cruelty and lack of empathy. So is he now a lock for the Republican nomination? Well, uh, you know, I would like to think that mainstream Republicans out there across the country uh, are as troubled by what's happening as, as the rest of us. Uh, I know that's not always true. Uh, we've seen a lot of extremism. Uh, but uh, we also see, I, th I would like to think, some common ground in the idea that you got uh, asylum seekers from Venezuela fleeing a repressive communist regime, that they ought to be treated with respect. These aren't political pawns, they're human beings. You know, honestly, I'm surprised to hear you answer with such vitriol. I like to say, when they go low, we go high. By the way, high is what people say to Ron DeSantis when they realize he's not a tugboat wearing a suit. I'm serious. We need to rise above, just like Ron DeSantis rises above what's considered a normal human torso to leg ratio. We gotta turn the other cheek, which should be easy for Ron DeSantis considering he appears to be made entirely of ass cheek. Now, I know you're singularly focused on your dream job, transportation secretary, but polls show that you would be a strong candidate for president, and President Biden recently told Scott Pelley, who I see at the gym a lot. My intentions I said to begin with is that I would run again, but it's just an intention. But is it a firm decision that I run again? That remains to be seen. If President Biden announces that he's not seeking another term, how far into the word not will you announce your candidacy? Will you wait for the T, or is America looking for a leader who jumps in on the O? So uh, I'm expecting that the president will run again, and I'm, I'm looking forward to supporting him. I'm also completely focused on this job. It is the most demanding time that, that I can imagine for the work that, that we do. Um, just so you know, our graphics director, Lindsay, worked really hard on the graphic announcing your candidacy for president, and she's going to be really bummed that we're not using it. Does that change your calculus at all? It's generally not the kind of thing that would go into a, a, a decision about that sort of thing, but okay. uh, I appreciate hearing about that. Okay, well, at the very least, can you please look into the camera and tell Lindsay how sorry you are for wasting her time? And by the way, you should really go for it because she worked on the graphic on her birthday. Um, sure, uh, Lindsay, uh, I'm so sorry, and, and happy belated birthday. Secretary Buttigieg, we're all done. Thank you for your time. And also, thank you for taking care of the tickets I got for driving in the carpool lane alone. When you do the emotional labor of 10 men, your car is full, hunty. Um, probably not technically how the high occupancy vehicle lanes work with the whole carpooling thing. You really want to have more than one I really there, thought anyway. you would understand emotional labor. Yeah. I really thought you would.